What's up guys? So this morning I decided to wake up and uh to target some uh maybe some seven gill sharks, leopard sharks, uh whatever we can get. It's been a while since I've been out there targeting these guys. Um specifically a seven gill shark. If I catch one, if I catch a keeper size, I'm gonna cook it. So I've never tried it. I've tried leopards, I don't I don't like leopard sharks. Uh, just wasn't my thing So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can catch one and Show you guys what they look like safely. So I, I was out here two days ago and the waves were okay with incoming tide and the waves started getting crazy. They started splashing over the rocks. Uh, winds got up to 25 miles per hour. So I had to go. I was able to catch one bat ray, but I wanted to come out here and try to hopefully get on a shark. Beautiful weather, not too cold. I want to show you guys my setup. I'm on a fish finder with a four, uh, four ounce pyramid weight. I got a bead on there. Uh, I got, I believe, 30 pound test mono line here for my leader. And then I got the double hook set up here with the octopus hook and a treble hook at the end here. I like this rig because it, it has a better presentation on the, on the squid.
definitely a bat ray. bad for 10 minutes. Set the hook on him. a bar where it broke off. See that? No barb on this one.
Hopefully something different. I've caught like a, I think it was five, close to six feet on, on one of these. Um, these have no barbs, There's no barbs on them, There's no teeth on them. They're pretty harmless, to be honest. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I did not get what I came here for, but I had fun catching those bat rays. Man, those things put up a good fight. Big ones, I, I think the biggest one I've caught it took me like 20, 30 minutes to bring it in. So much energy in those guys. I might make another video, um, come back here and try again some other time. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, guys.